Rain, rain, go away, come back another day. So Paulie can go out and get a lot of work done. Uh, I mean, no, play. Play, no, no play. Work first, then play. That's what Dad always used to say, anyway. <laughs> Not that I ever listened to him. At least when I was young. Uh, anyway, welcome back to The Infected. We're picking up where we left off here after the end of the last episode. We're at the cozy cottage in the tuna pond. Where we pulled out some pretty sizable tuna fish, interestingly enough. <laughs> And thank you very much for all the likes and the feedback and the comments and the hints on the first episode. Keep it coming. It's very much appreciated. Uh, I love how my torch is not going out in the rain. That's pretty cool. While it's raining, by the way, we should get these planters made up. We talked about this in the last episode. Right here, plant beds. We gotta get carbs. Carbs are a priority because you can only get carbs from fruits and veggies in the world and they're a hassle to find. So let's um, let's grow our own. We got seeds, so let's do it. We'll do it right here. We'll put down four planters because we have four different types of seeds and we'll get them growing. And then we'll, uh, we'll have a nice uh, renewable source of carbohydrates and that's gonna be fantastic for a balanced diet. Because we got plenty of meat, plenty of tuna, um, but we need those carbs. So I want to get this done while it's raining because I have a feeling these are going to need to be hydrated. So this should, uh, the rain should help. Oh gosh, I just hope we don't get struck by lightning. <laughs> Some of the lightning strikes have hit pretty close to the cozy cottage. I don't know if they actually do any damage or not. Although I did find a dead crow lying on the ground. So I'm not sure how it died. Maybe it got whacked. Anyway, there we go. Look at that. Plant bed, plant bed, plant bed, plant bed. Let's get the seeds for the plant bed. Oh, cukes, right. I forgot I had cukes here. All right, let's eat up those cukes. And that, see, they don't, these don't give a whole lot of carbs. You get more carbs from um, from the watermelons. So where, where is everything? Cucumber, all right, give me these melon seeds. Oh gosh, hold on. We gotta switch our backpack here. I really wish you would just open the right backpack for the job. There we go. And cuke seeds all right let's get them in all right so we open it up we can use the plant bed um cuke put a cucumber here oh look at that little baby cucumber plant very very cute a watermelon oh see it does need water but these apparently i think i think that means it's full right the outer the outer circle i think so corn little baby corn and a melon. Wait, did I do... Yeah, this is a watermelon and a regular melon melon. A melon melon and a watermelon. Wow! Holy moly. Yeah, two different kinds of melons, but they're going to be big, lovely melons because that's the way we like them. Alright, let's, uh, let's go put the seeds away, and then we're going to get started on some projects around here. We need a workbench so we can craft more advanced tools and things and we need a furnace i think it's called a forge actually let's take a look here under placables uh right, right here stone forge and the workbench yeah we need an iron ingot for that um which i think we can make on the stone forge so let's um let's drop a forge down here the blueprint for it anyway we'll start slapping some stones in there uh we'll put it inside because i'm thinking maybe this will will heat up the house because you do have uh, seasons in this game and apparently when it when winter comes it's going to get chilly and we're going to need to um, stay warm. Ah, dirty bird. That's a seagull, isn't it? Oh, you whittle. I want to kill you. Let's get him. Ow, got him. Huh? I did not expect that to happen, but that was a pretty good shot. It is a seagull. Dirtiest bird. You don't want to eat that guy. But I love the feathers. We can make... Um, that is just not straight, is it? <laughs> well, after these grow, I'll fix it later. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, uh, that's a dirty bird. You don't want to eat these things, but the feathers are good. We can make arrows. In fact, I found some arrows. All right, let me, let, me, let me back up a little bit. I actually had to restart the game, and I respawned down here, down in the southwest. I went to this Vambi base location, um, and I found a whole new technology, and... I did get Kevlar, and this time around I got some stone arrows from those bums, too. Um, and I did get a different technology. I got solar battery tech blueprint instead of the oil one that I got with you guys in the last episode. And apparently we can just 
drop that in here. Oh, here we go. Technology blueprint. Blue blueprint. It's a blueprint. Worst. Um, solar battery tech. And we just put it here. Yes, we do. And now I guess we can make solar batteries. So that's cool. We're going to get into solar power at some point. Pretty cool stuff. And then we'll have uh, we'll have power and energy and a refrigerator and all that good stuff there. Um, yeah, let's um. Let's get some rocks and let's make our stone furnace. Nope, wrong tool for the job, bro. No. Yes, there you go. Third time's a charm, chief. Oh, uh, we need a lot of stones, huh? So apparently these boulders do not respawn. The trees do regrow, but obviously boulders do not. <laughs> so these rocks are precious. Ooh, copper ore. So we're going to have to store them away. We don't want to just leave them on the ground because I think they will despawn. And we do have a weight to watch out for here. 45. Um, yeah, so we're going to have to store these away. And there is actually a container for stones. There's also a container for sticks, logs, and firewood. And we're going to make all those today if possible. 15 of 2-5. All right. Let's go get the rest. Get this thing done and we'll get this thing cranking out. So apparently we can even forge... Oh, there's some iron there. We can forge stones in the forge. And you'll get um, scrap metal. Like smaller bits of metal fragments. Oh gosh, is the storm coming in again? It's really cloudy around here. Some of these games are just so dark. Alright, let's check it out. Uh, oh, we need fur wood. We have some right here. Grab one piece of firewood. Apparently you can use bark as firewood too. I'm just going to throw a hole big chunk in there and then we're gonna get it going uh, with my lighter oh it's a nice glow and then we're gonna take our little iron ore bloop, put it there and even a copper ore bloop. and we're gonna get an iron ingot and a copper ingot as far as I know beautiful and I wonder if that warms up the house or not I'm not really sure is that a dirty bird dirty bird you stealing my rocks dude dude he ate all my rocks what the heck oh no here they are okay that would be weird <laughs> All right, let's go make a rock container and a stick container and a firewood container. And we'll put those over here, I think. Um, let's see what that takes. Actually, no, let's make the workbench first. Where's the workbench? Uh, one iron ingot and four wood logs. But where is the container? Yeah, there's a stone's crate. That requires iron, too, oddly enough. And then we have the stick stand and the firewood stand. And those will be easy to make. Um, well, let's make the workbench first. We'll put that over here. Can I close that with that in my hand? Alright, hold on. First of all, let's drop the torch. Now that the sun is shining, we don't need that anymore. And I'm going to grab the other, the other spear. You can actually carry two spears as long as you have the space in your backpack. You can carry four spears if you so desire. Bat to you too, pal. There we go. We got our iron ingot. And we have our copper ingot. And there's a little sheepy. Super, super close, it seems. Where'd you go? Up. Oh, you coming for my crops, aren't you? Oh, you little rascal. Oh, I got a headache. What do I have a headache? We're going to check our stats here. Thirsty and carby. Thirsty and carby. All right, well, let's drink clean water. Uh, we should eat. Yeah, we're gonna have to get some food going here on the bobby and some more fresh water But that should hold us over. We actually have five MREs. I thought it was just one MRE. You actually start with five So we could eat those in a pinch. We absolutely had to but it hasn't come to that yet And these do not look like we can harvest them yet um, All right, so let's uh, we wanted to oh, make a workbench right let's close that door i'm gonna put it right here i think looks like a fine spot just put it down right there and add the materials can i put this spear down no <laughs> you cannot clear out your hand by pressing the same number to put the weapon or tool down very odd all right um one more wood log And, okay, well, now the spear is gone. All right, cool. Um, and we need we need that ingot. Did I, did I have a... Oh, wait. Oh, it's done. What am I thinking? Oh, my gosh. The thing is done. <laughs> yeah, 
you dummy. It is done. Look at that. It is done. And now we can um, now we can make stuff on it. And hold on. How do we make stuff on it? Are there recipes? I guess all this stuff in here, right? Depending on what we're looking for. You know what we want? We want rope. Where's rope? Rope. Plant fiber times two. We can do that. We can do that. Plant fiber times two. And if you hold down alt and drag these over, you get one at a time, which is fantabulous. There we go. Let's make a bunch of ropes. Three rope. Because rope's going to be important for making fence, apparently, and also a bow. Um, and we want to get a bow pretty soon. All right. Fantastic. So let's, um, let's check out that bow. One stick, three ropes, and then the arrows, feathers, sticks, and ropes. All right, let's do that right now. A stick and three ropes. Close you down. So we got one, two, and three, and then a stick. That's it. Craft a, craft a bow. Um, oh, gosh, what's going on here? That rope just ended up flying all over the place. I think um, I think we have to drop something from our hands. Let's drop, let's drop the spear. This one right here. Put the bow there. Yes, that will work. There we go. That works. So now we have a bow. Let's bring it on out. Kind of useless. What the heck was that? I hear a monkey. Did you guys hear a monkey? Oh, that was weird. Let's go shoot a monkey. <laughs> I could have sworn I just heard a monkey. What is that? Sounds like a monkey. Oh, gosh. Hold on. Let me get rid of this. Going to make some space. Oh, it's a fox. It's not a monkey. How do I shoot it? Can I shoot it? How do I use the arrows? Um, do I need a quiver, maybe? Maybe I need a quiver. Animal hide and two ropes. All right. Well, let's do that. we got animal hides here. Grab the animal hides and put them over here. So it was two animal hides, two ropes, and there's our quiver. So where does the quiver go? Oh, there it is. Okay. We drag and drop this over to the quiver. Oh, cool. Okay. Now we, oh, there we go. Now we can aim and shoot. All right. Where'd that fox go? I mean, I kind of feel bad shooting a fox because they're so cute. <laughs> but. I wonder if he's got fur. We could use a fur. Maybe we can make nice clothing. Hey, buddy. Whoa! Whoa! Holy moly! It's coming right at us. What the heck is wrong with this thing? It's feral. Wow. Did you see that? Did he? Is he coming at us? He's savage. Can I shoot under the water? Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, my gosh. He's tough, too. One shot to the head. Hold on. I think he might bleed out. I think that's a thing in this game. Or he's going to drown. <laughs> wow. You want some tuna? I'll share my tuna with you, little buddy. Oh, he died. Yeah, he died. All right. Harvest the fox. I guess we don't get our arrow back. Now, I don't know if he died of uh, of blood loss or he drowned. My guess is the blood loss. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of cool. Kind of cool that things bleed out so you can save on arrows, right? So what do we get from that fox? We got another animal hide. Good, because we just used my other two. We'll put that away. We got a little meat from him as well. And a tiny little bit of fat. He was a lean little guy. I think he was just hungry. That's why he came at us like that. So let's go ahead and what do we need here? Let's just get some, some stuff taken care of. Clean water, dirty water. Yeah, let's get a fire going. And we'll cook up this meat. We got some raw foxy meat. And we're going to get some water going as well. Take care of our vitals. And then we're going to look into these racks for stacking up our logs and uh, sticks and rocks. And firewood, too, apparently. Um, let's go check on our vegetation. <gasps> Is it ready? It's not quite ready. Not oh, no, it needs water. Oh, dang it. I hope they don't die. Maybe maybe they don't die. Maybe they just don't grow. I don't know. But let's we got to get these things hydrated quick. How much water does that do? Oh, well, a little more than half. That's not terrible. All right, um, now what? Yeah, let's look into those racks so we can get organized over here a little bit. OMG! The game just crashed, and I came back, and it is now raining. That's weird. Um, well, whatever. I guess that's good for our crops, right? Because now they're all 
being hydrated automatically we don't have to worry about it but we do have to deal with the rain and the noise uh anyway what were we doing we're looking for placeables we wanted to make a firewood stand which is six sticks and a stick stand stick stand <laughs> with six sticks say that up six times fast all right let's plop this down right here this is the firewood stand we'll put it right under the uh the shelters here so it'll stay nice and dry and we can add some sticks we're gonna need more let's break this down and grab a bunch more sticks there we go and we'll uh, we'll stack up our firewood which is pretty dang awesome uh add firewood oh look at that that is so cool now my guess is this will not despawn once it's in the rack it'll stay there forever until we take it out how do we take it out again right mouse oh that is so sweet it's gonna look so beautiful around here let's make a little bit more and then we'll make a stick stand and we'll put our sticks in it and we'll put that on the other side oh yeah beautiful we can take the firewood out of the chest now because they take up so much space oh this rain driving me crazy uh-oh i hear a monkey another monkey <laughs> A feral fox. So maybe they started coming out on day three or something. Oh, I wonder if that means the infected are going to start attacking as well. That could be. Oh, there goes my head again. Whoa. Almost walked into the fire. All right, what's wrong with your head now? Carbs. We need carbs. Oh, dang it. Is this stuff ready yet? Not quite. Yeah, I don't know how much longer it's going to take. Stick stand. And maybe we'll turn this this way. Plop it down right there and add materials. It is a number of sticks. Oh, there we go. Look at that. And there's a bunch of sticks inside. Let's chop this one up a little bit too. And we'll stack up sticks and fir wood. Oh, that looks beautiful. I wonder if we can use sticks for fuel. My guess is yes. We should try it. Because I know you can use bark. Um, let's give it a try. Oh yeah, of course you can. I mean, not, it doesn't add a lot of wood, but it can be done. We'll throw that piece in there, and now we're going to make some more portable water. Just watch out for that crazy fox over there. What's the matter, little buddy? He sounds so sad. And then he charges you. Teeth bared. <laughs> Fangs bared. <laughs> oh, there goes that crazy fox. Oh, wait, did he? Oh. Oh, no, he's coming at us. I thought he was going to... Hey! Holy smokes, he's chewing up the shelter. <laughs> Dude, are you insane? Sounds like he's 600 pounds. Wow. Wow. He's right underneath. He's underfoot. I can't get to him. Wow. Oh, you little. You little. I can't get him with the spear. Oh, let's just shoot him in the head with the spear. That's fine. Bang. That works too. Give it back. All right, we'll try it. Ow. Shot him with an arrow. <laughs> wow, that was a quick shot. You just die already. Are you kidding me? Did I get the arrow? Oh, I got the arrow back. There we go. Gee, she's a toughie. That's what you get. And he did some damage, didn't he? Yeah, the wooden ramp is at 188 of 200 health. We can use a stone hammer to repair. What else did he mess up over here? Yeah, everything does have a health. I didn't know that. Man, that dude's got anger issues. All right, let's go find some carbs. Oh, we got him. Never mind. We're good. Pick it up. Wait, do I want to pick it up? Or should I just harvest it? Uh, well, let's harvest it because I know we're going to get the food and we're going to get some seeds. Harvest it right there. And these are great. So it's, um, 14 carbs for watermelons, which is pretty good. And it hydrates nicely as well. What's that sound? Dirty bird. Uh, so the other stuff is not ready. Oh, cucumber's ready, but the cucumber doesn't really give a whole lot of carbs but they do give you vitamins i think so let's harvest those might as well do all of our farming while we're here yeah eight vitamins and a little energy so those are good and oh corn just popped i just saw the shadow go up a little bit let's put the cukes back in and over here we're going to put our watermelon back in and we're gonna, oh they're watered oh nice the soil stays hydrated that's very nice i'm glad it remembered that still waiting for the corn uh, all right, well, we'll wait for the corn. Back up to two animal hides. And, oh, we got firewood here, too. Let's put the firewood where it belongs. 
and the firewood rack. And we need to make a stone rack, too. In fact, let's do this. Let's get this thing going again. A little firewood there. It looks like we ran out. And we're going to cook up some small stones. We're going to get fragments of iron and copper from those, as far as I know. Oh, I forgot to turn these things. Oh, I wonder if I get the seed back. I doubt it. All right, well, I'll do that next time because that's going to drive me crazy and probably a whole lot of other people. All right, let's check out the stone container, which is a placeable, meaning it can be moved around. That's nice. The stone's crate. And we do need an iron ingot for this, so we're going to have to go get that. And I'm going to just plop that down. Where can we put that? I want to move this over a little bit. Turn it this away. And then we'll put our stone bin here stones crate right in the plants which looks weird and yeah, they kind of clip through but whatevs uh three wood logs and an iron ingot boom done what do we got copper fragment and a copper fragment very nice now we're just gonna make our iron ore and one more stone i'm just putting the fragments over here for now until we have enough to make one whole complete ingot it is done there we go, beautiful, and an iron fragment. Got a couple more small stones cooking up. And let's finish the job here. Add the iron ingots, and then, oh, we just add stones. Just, there we go. Oh, look at that. That looks amazing. And then we right click to pull them back out again. <laughs> cool, we can save all the stones. All right, guys, it's now nighttime. I'm back in the cabin where it's nice and safe. And we're going to pick up right here in the next episode. We'll go out. And maybe find some more technology and we'll work on the base and do more fun stuff with the infected. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.